Hello friends, this is 13th part of how to create online examination system in PHP with MYSQL database, and in this part we will see how to edit details of particular question. In previous part, we have seen how to load particular exam question, in jQuery data table with server side processing, using PHP script with Ajax. But now we have to learn, how to edit or change question details, in this online examination system, using PHP script with Ajax. For this first we have go to exam.php file, and here we have already make question form in bootstrap modal class at the time of discussing add question details. So we have copy this modal code. After this we paste in question.php file, this is because we have already discussed this code at the time add question details. Same way for jQuery code of add question details, we have go to exam.php file, and we have copy jQuery code of submitting of question form. And go to question.php file, and go to jQuery code part, and paste here. So this code we will also use in edit question details lesson also. Below this, we have make reset question form function. Under this, we have write dollar with submit button ID, question button action with value method, and under this we have write edit. It will change value of submit button. For reset form field value, we have write dollar with form ID question form, with zero index dot reset method, this method will reset all form field value. For remove parsley javascript validation error, here we have write dollar with form id question form, dot parsley method with reset method, it will remove parsley javascript validation error. After this, here we have defined question id variable is equal to, blank value. Below this, we have write dollar, with document selector with on method, and under this we have right click event, with button class edit, so when we have click on edit button, this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write question id variable is equal to, dollar this with attribute method, and under this we have write id, this method will fetch value of ID attribute. After this, we have called reset question form function, it will reset all form field value. Now we have start write Ajax request, with first option URL set to Ajax action.php, it will send request to this PHP file. In second option, we have write method, and it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data option, and here we can define which data we want sent to server, so here have write action variable, with edit fetch value, question id variable value, and page variable with question value. In fourth option, we have write data type, and here we have defined JSON data type. Lastly, we have write success callback function, 
This function will be called if AJAX request completed, and it will receive data in JSON format. Under this function, we have write dollar, with text box ID question title, with value method, and under this we have write data dot question title variable, it will fill question title text box. For fill, option title one text box, here we have write dollar with text box ID option title one, with value method, and under this we have write data dot option title one. For fill option title 2 text box with value, so here we have write dollar with text box ID option title 2, with value method and under this, we have write data dot option title 2 variable. For fill option title 3 with value, so here we have write dollar, with text box ID option title 3, with value method, and under this we have write, data dot option title 3 variable. Same way for fill option title 4 text box with value, so here we have write text box ID option title 4, with value method, and under this we have write data dot option title 4 variable. After this for select value of answer option select box, here we have write dollar with select box ID answer option, with value method and under this we have write data dot answer option variable. Now we want to set value of hidden field question ID field, so here we have write dollar with hidden field ID question ID, with value method, and under this we have write question ID variable. For change modal title, here we have write dollar with division tag ID modal title, with text method, and under this we have write text like edit question details. And lastly for pop up modal on web page, here we have write dollar with modal ID question modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, so it will pop up modal on web page. Now we have go to Ajax action.php file, and here we have write dollar post action variable is equal to, edit fetch, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to select star from question table, where question ID is equal to dollar post question ID variable. For execute this select query and get query execution result, here we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method and for fetch data from this dollar result variable here we have write for each loop with condition like dollar result variable as dollar row variable under this loop we have write dollar output question title variable is equal to dollar row question title variable For store answer option data, so here we have write dollar output answer option variable is equal to dollar row answer option variable. For store option data, here we have write for loop with condition like dollar count variable value is equal to 1, dollar count variable value is less than 4 and dollar count variable value increment by 1. Under this loop, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to 
select option title from option table, where question ID is equal to dollar post question ID variable, and option number is equal to value of dollar count variable. Below this query we have write dollar sub result variable is equal to dollar exam object with query result method this method will execute query and return query result for fetch data from dollar sub result variable here we have write for each loop with condition like dollar sub result variable as dollar sub row variable under this loop we have write dollar output option title variable with value of dollar count variable is equal to dollar sub row option title variable it will store all option data in array Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method, with dollar $output variable, now we have check output in browser. Friend first we have refresh web page, and now we have click on this edit button, after click on edit button, here we can see modal has been pop up in browser. Here we can see modal title has been changed, and all form field has been filled with data, and here we have see submit text has been changed to edit. When we have click on this button, then form data will be submitted using Ajax, which code we have already write at the time of adding question in exam. So, we have directly go to Ajax action.php file for write PHP script, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to edit, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array. In array first key, we have write double colon question title, and in value we have write dollar post question title variable. In array second key, we have write double colon answer option, and in value we have write dollar post answer option variable. In array third key, we have write double colon question ID, and in value we have write dollar post question ID variable. So here we have store question title data in this array. Below this we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to update question table and set question title is equal to double colon question title answer option is equal to double colon answer option where question ID is equal to double colon question ID this is update query for update question table data and for execute above query we have write dollar exam object with execute query method now for update option table data here we have write for loop and under condition we have write dollar count variable value is equal to 1 dollar count variable value is less than 4 and dollar count variable value is increment by 1 under this loop we have write dollar exam object with data variable is equal to array in first key 
we have write double colon question ID, with value dollar post question ID variable. In second key, we have write double colon option number, and in value we have write dollar count variable value. And in third key, we have write double colon option title, and in value we have write dollar post option title variable, with value of dollar count variable. Below this array, we have write dollar exam object with query variable is equal to, update option table, and set option title is equal to double colon option title, where question ID is equal to double colon question ID, and option number is equal to, double colon option number. This update query will update data of option table, so for execute this update query, we have write dollar exam object with execute query method. This method will execute above update query, and it will update question and option table data. After this we have write dollar output variable is equal to array. And in this array, we have write success key, and in value we have write question edited, this message will be display on web page at admin side. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request in JSON format, so here we have write JSON encode method, with dollar output variable, so here our code is ready now have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, and after this first we have click on this edit button. After click on this edit button, here we can see modal has been pop up on web page, with question details form with filled form details, and here modal title and submit button text has been also change. Now we have make some changes in question or option details, and after this we have click on edit button, after click on edit button, here we can see success message on web page. So here on web page we can see updated question details on web page, in jQuery data table. So this way we can change question details, but we can change only those question details, whose exam is not still started. Already completed exam question details, we cannot be edited. So in this part we have seen how to edit question details using PHP script with Ajax using Bootstrap for modal, in next part we will learn how to delete or remove question details. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.